Good morning to you on this Wednesday morning. Today we'll start to look at Psalm 105. Again, it's a fairly long one, so I'm just going to read the first few verses today. O give thanks to the Lord, call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the peoples. Sing to Him. Sing praises to Him. Speak of all His wonders. Glory in His holy name. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord be glad. Seek the Lord in His strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his wonders which he has done, his marvels and the judgments uttered by his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, O sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. That's the first seven verses. We'll have a little look at those today and then go on again tomorrow. Like so many psalms, this psalm calls us to worship. This psalm reminds us to give thanks to the Lord, to call upon His name, and also to make His deeds known among the peoples. God has called us to be His witnesses. We are His ambassadors. And when we live a life of praise and thanksgiving, then our witness is good, and we can share with others. Others will want to know, what is the source of joy in your heart? How can you be happy all the time? Why do you have peace? They want to know, and we have an opportunity to tell them and to show them. Sing praises to Him. Speak of all His wonders. Glory in His holy name. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord be glad. Be glad. Come to the Lord. Seek Him. And then, verse 4, Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His face continually. The problem is that we don't do this enough. The problem is that we often only seek God's guidance and His help when we run into trouble, when we can't think of anything else. It's the wrong approach to life. We should seek Him first. We should seek His face continually. We should come to Him for advice, for strength. Come to Him and ask Him to fill our cup with His love, with His Holy Spirit, with His power. Seek Him first before you make any decision. Ask Him to give you the wisdom to show you the way. And He will. Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. We put God first, and then everything else falls into place. We should seek His face continually. We should praise Him continually. We should worship Him continually. Our life should be one of continuous praise and thanksgiving and honor and glory to Him. Let's now seek His face. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you. We bless you. We come into your gates with thanksgiving, into your courts with praise. We lift our hands as we worship you today, Lord, and we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for loving us with an everlasting love. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Thank you that you wash away all of our sins and write our names in the Lamb's book of life. And nobody can ever extinguish our name and our place with you. Thank you for that. Lord, we continually seek your face. We ask you for wisdom. We ask that you would take us by the hand today and lead and guide us. Show us your way. As the psalmist wrote, teach me thy way, O Lord, that I may walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name, that I may walk in thy truth. That's our prayer today, Lord. And we pray that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with love. May our cup overflow. May we be a good witness, a light, salt, everything that people need to draw them closer to you. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on those who have not heard you yet, Lord. Open up their eyes. Open up their hearts that they would come to you. We pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray, Lord, for those in authority, the governing authorities. We pray that you would give them wisdom and strength. Help them to make right decisions in difficult times. Help us, Lord, to obey and to do the right thing. Always to obey you, to put you first in everything that we do. May we live a life of love that reflects you wherever we go. May the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our Redeemer. Father God, we pray for... Our loved ones near and far, we pray that you would keep them from evil. We pray, Lord, that you would guide and protect 
We thank you for your daily provision. We thank you that we have everything that we need and more than we need. And now, Lord, we combine all of our prayers in the great prayer that you have given to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, may you have a blessed day today. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Seek the Lord's face continually. Rejoice in Him always. God bless.